Okay, what we're going to do in this section is we're going to learn how to calibrate a monitor so that the image that we're seeing on the set, on this monitor, is actually the image that we're shooting. Mainly when it comes to the colors that we're seeing, that the color red is actually red and not pinkish red, and that, for instance, the brightness of the image, the, uh, the amount of information that we're seeing and detail that we're seeing in the shadows and in the highlights is actually true to form and it's not actually we're not actually shooting a darker or a lighter image than what we're actually seeing and that way we can use the monitor for for instance to set up our camera to make sure that we're exposed properly even though that's not really necessarily the way to do it uh, you ought to be using the zebras or uh, an oscilloscope or for instance the uh, input into your editing system uh, that shows you distribution or waveform um, you can also use the light meter so that you can know that you're right on um, but what what pretty much ends up happening on the set is everybody ends up defaulting to watching the monitor to know that they're pretty much spot on or kind of to get an idea of where they ought to be. Bear in mind that the method that you're going to be shown on how to calibrate this particular JVC production uh, professional monitor is going to be the exact same method that you're going to use to calibrate a professional LCD monitor uh, made by a different manufacturer, for instance like Panasonic or Sony, as long as they have the same controls. So I'm going to let Ivan at first um, explain to you cabling and how to connect your camera to the monitor and then we'll go from there. These are RCA's you can tell just by the coloration the red, yellow and white. The yellow is always used as video the red is the right channel for the audio the white is typically the left channel. It obviously doesn't matter you can interchange any one of them for any other type they're conducting the same type of current and they'll also line up according to the colors on the inputs or outputs on the camera or TV or receiver that you're uh, going to. These are going to be component cables. These are used for high definition signals and they're divided into red, green, and blue because they're transmitting the typical, they're transmitting the individual wavelengths of color. That's why you're getting more resolution out of just, out of three as opposed to just one. This is conducting the entire video for RCA, which is standard definition. This is going to conduct an entire cable's worth of green, an entire cable's worth of red, an entire cable's worth of blue. So typically on the side or rear of a camera, you'll have your inputs or your outputs. Uh, this is our, we're go, right now we're going through components. So this is a component out. So another input that I want to tell you about and point out in this particular camera is this combination uh, plug right here, which is the one that leads out to a composite video cable as well as two audio left and right audio cables, which is this particular cable right here. That's the combo plug that's the video end of it, the video RCA end of it. That's a composite line of about 200 lines of information. And then there's also the S video plug, which is that particular one right there. That conducts a YC signal. It's video only, it's not audio and video. And that has about 400 lines worth of video information to it. So it's about twice the quality of composite video. Uh, by far though, if you have a monitor that can accept component input, which is the green, red, and blue cable that you're seeing here in front of you, that is by far the highest quality video that you can get into your monitor aside from digital. But as far as analog, that is the highest quality uh, signal that you can get in there. Uh, that will give you a maximum of 800 lines of resolution. So it goes 200 for composite, 400 for YC, and 800 for component. So we have component to RCA right now, but we have a BNC input on the rear of our monitor. So we need to convert from RCA to BNC. So we have these are considered, these are called BNC barrels. They're the female end of the BNC cable. Same thing that you'd see on the input for a monitor that uses BNC cable. So in order to get from this to this, we need to take a few steps. The first being to connect our RCA to a BNC input. So we connect all three RCAs to BNC via the adapter, which is only a dollar or two at a good place, maybe a little more. Now we connect the BNC through the slot and we twist. This guarantees the connection to be firm and it guarantees so that you won't be able to pull it out. So we do that with all three of these. Insert and then twist insert and twist. Then we connect to our BNC monitor cables, green to green, 
red to red. So now we have to go with the connections. We have to find, this is green, yellow. So it says GY, go in with the green there. To in, you'll see the input and output. Blue, and then red, and twist. Double check your connections, make sure everything's good, that you have all the colors aligned correctly, and then power up your monitor to the input. Next thing you do is power up the bars on your camera. The first step to calibrating your monitor is make sure that it's been warmed up for a little bit. Make sure no lights on the set are actually hitting your monitor. The contrast dial, set that to the middle, usually where it clicks. Now look at the pluge bars. These are the picture lineup generating equipment. On a scale of 0 to 100, 100 being pure white, 0 being pure black, this is also called the IRE scale. The pluge bar on the left is 3.5 IREs, the one in the middle is 7.5, and the one on the right is 11.5. Turn up your brightness until you can just barely see the rightmost bar. The one in the left in the middle should disappear completely into black. Now turn the contrast dial up to maximum. Turn it down until this white bar does not flare anymore. Now your monitor is adjusted for brightness and contrast. Now we can move to colors. Most professional monitors have a blue only or blue gun or screens check button. Go ahead and select that until you see a blue screen. If you don't have a blue only button, get a sheet of full CTB, which is color temperature blue, color correction gel. Hold it up to your eye and make sure you can't distinguish colors like red and yellow anymore. Our next step is to calibrate the phase and the chroma level on the monitor. Now the phase is going to control the monitor leaning to green or to magenta, whereas the chroma or chrominess level is going to control the intensity of the colors or how much the colors go to a primary color rather than have white mixed in with it. Our primary concern is the leftmost gray bar and the rightmost blue bar, and the cyan and the magenta bars in the middle. You see those bars in the center right there? There's a line between the center, and as you change the phase, you can see that the bars in the center of the frame become uniform, and that line, that dividing line, begins to disappear. So that is the purpose of adjusting the phase on the monitors to make sure that those two center bars are completely uniform and there's no division between the top bar and the bottom bar. The chroma level dial is usually right next to the phase dial on the monitor, so it makes it easy to jump from one to the next really easily. And as we adjust the chroma level, we're going to notice that the outer bars, the outer uh, vertical bars on the left and the right hand side of the frame, um, are going to change their uniformity with the bottom bars beneath them. And as they do that, you're going to see how that kind of, they become more subtle and more uniform as we adjust the chroma, but then the two center bars kind of come off of their uniformity again a little bit as we continue to change the chroma level. So after we do the chroma level, we have to go back to the phase and just do one final adjustment to make sure that the middle bars come back to being uniform again. And as you can see right here, they come back to being uniform and we have a perfectly calibrated monitor.